Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Eric Tolman. Uh, please remember to please uh, subscribe to my channel, like, comment. Uh, if you like my content, uh, please give me a thumbs up as well, please. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and talk about uh, the next potential for uh, a major winter storm that is going to set up. You can see on the GFS uh, models right here that this is actually the next uh, storm uh, that is going to be taking shape in the Midwest. And this is going to be our next uh, target zone for another potential uh, storm. So uh, stay tuned. Um, we're going to talk about this uh, winter storm. And then after that, uh let you know if there's anything else that's going to happen uh, right after this one uh, pulls out. Stay tuned. I've got more uh, updates on the rest of this uh, forecast on the winter storm. Stay tuned, and uh, we'll finish the rest of this forecast and much more in just a moment. We'll be right back with more. And welcome back, everybody. Uh, and as you can see on this uh, model right here, uh, these are still uh, models of uh, the next uh, storm that's going to be headed in our direction. So uh, basically what's going to happen with this, there's going to be uh, a wintry mix that is going to set up here. I'm actually uh, going to kind of let you know that uh, people in Michigan, uh, there is going to be another uh, potential for freezing rain. So that's actually a concern. That means freezing rain means ice as well. So that's actually another concern that I'm worried about. We'll kind of talk about more about the freezing rain uh, potential, but that is actually another possibility for uh, Southeast Michigan. You can see that there is going to be freezing rain um, in store for you guys as well. And then there's some snow mixed in. And then behind that, you can see that there's actually a sleet. Uh, right in there, you can see that, and then you can see that there's actually a snow band uh, right over top of that, and then um, I'll back up for a second, then you can see that there's some more snow right along here, and then uh, with this uh, rain as well, it looks like there might be some moderate rainfall, uh, maybe heavy, um, and then um, there's actually some more uh, sleet and a little bit of freezing rain, but uh, there's a lot of rain with this, and it, it's going to be very interesting once again. Uh, so even though we're cleaning up from uh, the snowstorm that we just had and everything else, uh, we're back at it again. So uh, just be prepared. Uh, so keep those uh, shovels handy and stuff. And uh, hopefully you have the time to get all those last minute things that you may need. Uh, so uh, we'll be right back with the rest of this forecast. But um, hopefully, uh, you're prepared because I did remember to go to the grocery store and get the stuff that I needed. So I think I'm all set. Uh, we'll be right back and I'll have the rest of the forecast coming up. And thank you so much for joining us. Uh, once again, I'm Eric Solomon and, uh, this is actually uh, continuous uh, GFS models. Uh, like I said, I'm still uh, tracking uh, this storm system, but I want to talk about the GFS models, and this is actually the one that will be coming for New Year's. Uh, so now um, in the picture, you can actually see that as it continues to move, uh, you can see that there's actually a lot of rain with this. Um, as well, there's actually... Um, Sleet with this, freezing rain as well, and a wintry mix as well uh, that's mixed in. And then um, there's another concern is going to be sleet as well because uh, uh, parts of uh, Michigan, southeast Michigan, you guys are probably going to have a little bit of, uh, a, a little bit of uh, issues, which would be not just the snow, but also the wintry mix and then ice, freezing rain, and then the icy conditions is a little bit more of a concern as well for Michigan. And then uh, you can see on here that there's actually uh, widespread snow uh, that comes in coverage uh, that go all the way up to uh, close to the uh, 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 border of uh, the upper part of uh, uh, the upper uh, 
peninsula of Michigan. You can see that's exactly where the snow is up there. But the upper peninsula, you guys are not going to get any of the uh, snow out of it. Not in this uh, GFS uh, uh, model right here. Uh, but then uh, you can see that there's actually some more uh, freezing rain that's contended with us. So um, all in all, it looks very, very active. There's actually a lot of rain that you can see on here as well. So um, parts, uh, like if you live in the Northeast, you guys are going to have a uh, wintry mix, and then you'll have the sleet mix in there. You'll have the freezing rain in there, and then you'll have uh, pl then you'll also have rain um, as well. So it's going to be another active uh, another active day. Um, stay tuned. I've got more on this uh, winter storm, and then I will have the rest of the forecast right after this. Stay tuned. We'll be right back on more coverage on this uh, winter storm setting up for New Year's. And thank you once again for uh, joining me. Um, I'm finally back again with uh, more uh, updates on this uh, uh, forecast on the winter uh, storm. Uh, you can see now um, in this uh, GFS model, you can see in this one, that there's actually uh there's still snow um widespread snow with this as well and then you can see that there's actually uh sleet right there um in sections of western michigan there's a little bit of freezing rain uh, associated with that and then mostly in uh, michigan southeast michigan up to the thumb area uh rain is also going to be a part of the winter mix so it's basically just plain uh, rain uh, that you can see, and that's actually widespread rain that that actually goes a long um, distance from Michigan into to Canada, Canada, Ontario, uh, Ohio, um, Ohio, and that, and also uh, the north, the northeast is also going to be in favor for rain as well. Um, so you can just see how actively uh, the system is going to be. So. Um, we're going to get you through the rest of this forecast and then we'll talk about, um, we'll talk about the advisories and, um, other curtain, uh, warnings and watches if any are posted. We'll be back with more on this forecast as we wrap it up. We'll be right back. So please remember to please, uh, subscribe, like, if you like my content, uh, please give me a thumbs up. We'll be right back right after this. And thank you, uh, I'm back. And this is actually GFS models for uh, January the 2nd. Uh, I'm just keeping this rolling as, uh, as far as I can go. Uh, so anyway, we're still talking about this uh, 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 winter storm. You can see uh, what's left of it uh, in Michigan and sections of Michigan right here. There's actually some snow um, as well. There's a little bit of sleet. Uh, right in there, and there's actually some freezing rain um, as well, and then there's some rain uh, mixed in there uh, with the rest of uh, what we have with this uh, uh, major winter snowstorm uh, for New Year's, and then you can see out in the northeast, uh, there's a lot of rain associated with this, and then there's still a wintry mix um, up in uh, the Canada area and uh, parts of the the Northeast that travel all the way up in this section, uh, way up there. So you can see how uh, active uh, the weather pattern is, um, especially then if you guys want to know something very interesting. Not only that, we're uh, dealing with this uh, winter storm, and then we also have some more stuff developing um, in the Midwest once again. Um, so it kind of looks like it may be another another winter storm that's uh, shaping up. I'll have more updates on that forecast and much more coming up in just a little bit. Come back and join me again at 6 p.m. or 5.30, and I'll have more updates on more potentials and chances for winter storms and much more. We'll talk about snow accumulations when I come back in the second half. And please remember to please like, uh, please subscribe, please like, and um, 
comment and uh, if you like my content, uh, please uh, leave me a like. Thank you, and we'll see you uh, in the next uh, forecast. Thank you.